Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and today we'll look at simple techniques to block website access. If you need information on maintaining, installing and migrating Windows SharePoint, please visit our website at www.wssops.com. Today we'll look at two methods to block website access. Firstly via a local router and then secondly using a website www.opendns.com Okay, the first place that I'll start is at my web browser on my workstation. I will illustrate that firstly I can get to uh, facebook.com and also I can get to myspace.com so both sites are working normally okay so the first option that we need to investigate is how to block these websites using the local router so the first thing I do is I log into my local router and in this case I'm using a Netgear DG834G and you'll notice that there's an option here under block sites I can go in here and I can for example enter a key phrase and add that to a list of keywords or domains in which will now be blocked so if I return to MySpace and hit refresh I would expect that this site is now blocked as expected and we get a message up here indicating that it's been blocked by our Netgear firewall. As you can appreciate in many cases it's quite easy to get around this sort of issue so a more robust solution is to use something called OpenDNS. OpenDNS is a website that allows you to control your DNS settings for your machine or for your network. It allows you to create an account under which you can then assign a IP address range and from there you can do some configuration. The important thing with OpenDNS is that you have to have your DNS servers pointing to OpenDNS to allow it to work. So we open our network connections. We will then go in and have a look at the adapter card we've got on this workstation via properties. And we will select the TCP IP settings for that network card. And we will ensure that our DNS settings are set to the requirements for OpenDNS, which are 208, 67, 222, 222, and 220, 220. So once we have this in place, we are now looking to OpenDNS to resolve any DNS queries from this workstation. So again, what I've done is I have logged in to OpenDNS. I have created an account which allow me to control the DNS requests from machines. And I've selected the option here under settings for content filtering. As you can see, I have a number of default settings, a high setting, a moderate, a low, and a minimal. At the moment, it's only set to minimal and it's protecting me against phishing attacks. So what I can do is I can, for example, if I want to block all social networking sites, which is probably going to be what I'm after if I'm looking to block Facebook and MySpace, I simply select custom and as you can see I can select from a number of different options to block. So under here I've already got phishing selected but I will select social networking which should remove access to MySpace as well as Facebook. I can then simply apply this and as you can see, it will take about three minutes for this to be updated to the OpenDNS servers. Down the bottom, you can also see that you can manage individual domains. You can enter individual domain names you wish blocked, and you can add that domain to the list. So now all we need to do is wait until the OpenDNS servers have updated to our configuration, and then test our sites again. So we'll now see after a suitable amount of time has elapsed, I'm able to select, say, find people. Sorry, select forums. 
and we'll see that rather than going to the MySpace site, the see that it is now blocked um, via open, D, open DNS. Likewise, if I try and log into Facebook, I should see the same sort of result. And as you can see, both of these sites are now blocked via OpenDNS. And again, this is controlled via your OpenDNS console. As we can see, it's currently ticked as social networking. If I now uncheck that and apply um, in another three minutes or so, once the D OpenDNS servers have updated, these blocking issues will be removed. But I would highly commend that you take a look at OpenDNS as an excellent way to protect your network from things like uh, legal activity, uh, networking sites, video sharing, there's a whole lot of customization that can be done here. So it's a highly recommended site and is far more granular than simply blocking sites through your local router. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net. Also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for watching.